what Neuralink is because the last time you were here, we really couldn't discuss it. And then there was, a, I guess, a press release, or something that sort of oh, outlined. Yeah, sure. yeah sure. That, that, that happened quite a bit after the last time you were here. So what exactly is it? How do you do, what, what happens if someone ultimately does get a Neuralink installed, what will take place? Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain implant business, has announced that it has received approval from U.S. regulators to begin testing its device in humans. The corporation announced the news on Twitter Thursday evening, but provided no specifics about the potential study, which was not listed in the U.S. government's clinical trials database. Neuralink is one of many organizations attempting to connect the nervous system to computers in order to supposedly aid in the treatment of brain disorders, the rehabilitation of brain and spine injuries, and other objectives. Musk has claimed that the first two applications in humans would be to try to restore vision and to assist people with limited or no ability to quickly function their muscles in order to operate digital devices. He also suggested that signals from the brain might be bridged to Neuralink devices in the spinal cord for someone with a broken neck. Swiss researchers disclosed a device that restores connection between the brain and the spinal cord, allowing a paralyzed man to stand and walk normally. The device, roughly the size of a large coin, is intended to be implanted in the skull, with ultra-thin wires leading straight into the brain. It's unclear how well this gadget or similar interfaces will eventually work or how safe they will be. At this time, the Neuralink interface is designated as an investigative device and clinical studies are aimed to collect data on safety and effectiveness. Neuralink stated that it is not yet seeking participants for the study and would share additional details soon.